Hello, welcome back. We're going to be looking at section 1.1 still, but now we're going to be doing two other questions, question number two and number three. If you want to look at the other questions, just make sure you hit subscribe, and that way you can go to see my channel to see the other questions from section 1.1. Let's get started with number two, and it reads, at a sled race practice field in North Bay, Ontario, a dog sled team covers a single lap distance of 2.9 kilometers at an average speed of 15 kilometers per hour. They want us to calculate the average speed in meters per second and to calculate the time in seconds needed to complete the lap. So let's try to first visualize this. So let's just picture a doggy first. So at a sled race practice field in North Bay, Ontario, a dog sled team covers a single lap and the distance is 2.9 kilometers. And the average speed that it does this is 15 kilometers per hour. So in this case what they've given us is if this is how long it takes to complete one lap we can call this the first length of the displacement delta D1 or let's just call it delta D it will be easier that way. The average speed because it's a vector quantity is V average I didn't put any hat on top of it and what they want us to do is to calculate the average speed but they already gave us that oh but they want it in meters per second so what we need to do is we need to do some unit conversion so let's take our 15 kilometers per hour And one way to do canceling out the units, no, one way to do unit conversion is to cancel out the units. So what I mean by that is we want to cancel out the units of hours and we want to make it into seconds. So the first thing we do is we want to cancel out hours. So to cancel out hours, we first go to minutes. So in one hour, there's 60 minutes. So what do I mean by canceling? Notice that the hour is in the denominator and then the numerator, so those will cancel out. So you're only left with minutes. But then we want to convert from minutes to seconds. So we need to cancel out in one minute, there's 60 seconds. So this cancels out the units of minutes and you get left over with seconds. So the other part that we need to do is we need to convert kilometers into meters. So we want to cancel out kilometers. To do that, we put the one kilometer in the denominator and in one kilometer, there's 1,000 meters. So you see the only units that are left are meters and seconds so it's meters per second because meters was in the numerator and seconds in the denominator so let's do 15 divided by 60 divided by 60 times a thousand so 4.2 meters per second that's our average speed okay now for part b they want us to calculate the time in seconds needed to complete the lap so part b we want to find the change in time to complete one lap and we know that the formula for average speed 
as the distance or total distance over total time. And we're only going to be considering it for one lap. But we know that the average speed is what we calculated from before, that 4.2 meters per second. And the distance to complete a single lap, we found it before, which was 2.9 kilometers. But the only thing that we need to do now is do another unit conversion. We want to convert kilometers to meters. So 2.90 kilometers. We want to cancel out kilometers. So in one kilometer, there's 1,000 meters. So notice the units of kilometers cancel out and you get left with meters. Or another way of thinking about it, if it's from kilometers, which is kilo, kilo is a thousand, you're going to multiply by a thousand, which you move the decimal place three times to the right. One, two, three. So 2,900 meters. So our average speed is our total distance over total time. And to find the time, we multiply both sides by the change in time. To isolate for the change in time, you divide both sides by the average speed. And our distance was 2,900 meters. And the time that it took was four, I mean, and the speed was 4.2 meters per second. So we divide these two quantities. And we get 690 seconds. For the time interval that it takes. Uh, not the most difficult question. It was just asking us to do unit conversion here. Let's see if the next one gets harder. All right, so for question three, we have a skater travels straight across a circular pond with a diameter of 16 meters. It takes her 2.1 seconds. Seems like we may have to draw a picture in this case. So we have a circular pond and there's some skater and they would do travel straight across and this diameter which usually we use the capital letter D for diameter is 16 meters and to go across this diameter of 16 meters it takes our skater two point one seconds So the first thing that they want us to find is to determine the skater's average speed. So V average, so total distance over total time, which we can write as delta D or delta T, scalar part, so no vectors. Now, this is pretty straightforward. Just put in the values because it's already in SI, SI units, which is in meters and in seconds. So 16 meters and it took 2.1 seconds. So this is approximately 7.6 meters per second. So the skater in each second of time is able to travel 7.6 meters. So in two seconds, approximately 15 and something. So in 2.1 seconds, it's 16 meters. So that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, for part B, they want us to find how long will it take the skater to skate around the edge of the pond at the same average speed. So in this case, 
skating around the edge. So we want to make one full circular path. So since we're dealing with circles, so in other words, they want us to cover the length of uh, the circumference of the circle. Remember, there's a formula. The circumference of a circle is 2 pi r, where r is the radius. And because the diameter is 16, sorry, because the diameter is 16, this means the radius is diameter divided by 2. 16 meters divided by 2, so it's just 8 meters. So my circumference is 2 pi times 8. So circumference is 16 pi. Okay, so what I'm finding here is that now we know the total distance that is travel. It's travel around the circle. Around the circle, that's called the circumference. So we have the total distance travel, and they want us to assume that the average speed is the same as if it was just cutting straight across, which was the 7.6 meters per second. So we're going to use the same equation, but instead now we're going to isolate for the time. So V average is the distance travel over the time that it takes. And we're assuming it's the same average speed as before. So all we have to do is isolate for the time. So multiply both sides by the time. Divide both sides by the average speed. Put in our values, so 16 pi divided by 7.6 meters per second. Six point six seconds. By the way, uh, pi is just the number is approximately three point one four something. But there's a button in your calculator, so just look for pi. So what I did is I put in sixteen pi, which was approximately fifty point three meters. So make sure you're able to get that value so that we can check your answers. So that's it for this part. I'm going to be showing you the other questions from section 1.1 in my other videos. So make sure you hit subscribe and that way you can go see the next videos.